Everybody needs to chill out! Everybody needs to chill out just a little bit! Now I'm talking about life here, alright? Everyone needs to, to, to relax and, and just learn to have fun. Everyone needs to chill out. Now I'm not, I'm not saying everybody needs to chill out as much as me, because let me tell you, I'm pretty chilled out. I'm, I'm really chilled out. I really am. I just, I just don't give a fuck about anything, alright? Even, even serious things like substance abuse. I just, I just don't give a fuck, man. First time a friend handed me a joint, I was like, hell yeah, boy, hand me five. Started on a rap it, he was like, dude, what are you doing? I'm putting it into my bong, man. <sighs> dude, this thing would come in handy eventually. I just, I just don't give a fuck. Uh, I would try to impose certain limitations on myself. You know, when I, when I was 16, I was telling my friend, you know, dude, I'm not touching anything stronger than pot until I'm at least 24, because that's when your brain stops growing. Or until I get my hands on something stronger. I could have found something lying in a gutter on the side of the road and just been like, alright, guess I'm doing heroin a little earlier than I thought. So, you know, not everybody needs to be that chilled out, but a little chill can do a lot of good. And listen to me now, if you've got no chill, you're gonna do a lot of bad. Let me tell you a story to laugh your ass off. It was at Blockbuster a while back. You've heard of this place, Blockbuster? And by a while back, I mean uh, two years, two months, and three three days ago exactly. And uh, 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 now I love I love Blockbuster, I really do. It's my home away from home. Now my home is my car, so I guess it'd be my my home where I take my home when I want a movie. But I, I do love it. I, I don't like to get stressed out at Blockbuster because if I get stressed out at Blockbuster, it ruins my entire day. Because I know that if I can't stay chilled at Blockbuster, there's no way I'm going to be able to stay chilled during any other part of the day. Whether it's working, and talking to people, or whacking off, or, or, or any, any other normal part of my day. So, so I like to stay chilled at Blockbuster. Now, I, I, was, I, was, I was with a friend at this time, and we're walking in, and you know, we're scoping out our targets. New releases, non-new releases, new purchase releases, non-releases, what the hell? It's nothing but display cases. Display cases, do you remember those things? <laughs> you, you had the, the case that was the display, and then you had the case that actually had the movie in it. What a game that was! You might, have, might as well have had a sign on top saying, This is what you're renting, this is what you're getting. You pretend like you're renting this one, but then you take this one home. But, 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 what if this is the one that I want? There's nothing in it, leave it alone! Uh, when did Blockbuster get an intercom? It didn't! Now leave! So, so, so... I still, I still love Blockbuster, just not the, the fucking display cases, and, uh, you know, no adult section, that's another thing, too, you know, what's up, but it's still pretty good. So, so me and my friend, we go to the back, we, my friend and I, whatever, we go to the back, because I just don't give a fuck, man, not even, not even about proper grammar, alright? We go grab our movie, and we get in line so we can get the hell out of there, because, no. This is a concept all those zombies stumbling up and down the new release aisle will, will never be able to understand. Because it is, without an exception, more enjoyable to watch a movie than to spend 30 minutes trying to pick one out. Even if you're watching The Goonies 2 and you're not a pedophile, that is still more enjoyable than wasting half an hour pretending you're in some museum of shitty movies. So we grab our movie, we get in line. My father and his daughter get in line behind us. Now this, this doesn't sound like it'd be a problem, but it is, because this father, he's got no chill. Now I'm listening to their conversation and watching them out of the corner of my eye, and this is what goes on. The girl asks, hey dad, can I, can I get a candy bar? He says, no. Well, we're not buying food at a Blockbuster! Buying food at a Blockbuster. They're not. He's. You're not. Buying food at a 
Blockbuster! <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with buying food at a Blockbuster? Is this what you're getting so stressed out about? Buying food at a Blockbuster? Jesus Christ, I can't believe a teenage daughter would take shit like that from her dad. I'd never take that from my dad. Alright, now I might just be saying that because my dad's a pushover, but I would never take it. <laughs> my, my dad, he's a little guy from Bangladesh, and I'm fucking Andre the Giant to the Bangladesh. Right? I outweighed him at age 12, so he was never really in a position to intimidate me. Now, he wasn't that good with words either, you know, he'd say something like, Hey, boy, dog, can you uh, clean up the floor with the mop later? Yeah, I'll clean up the floor with your face. Hey, boy, I'll clean up the your face with your face. And he wore nightshirts to bed. Now, that didn't really help his image out much either. You know what a nightshirt is? It was the pajama of the 1890s. It's what the boys and Peter Pan wore to sleep. That's a nightshirt. That's what he wore to sleep. I'd say something like, Hey, Dad, nice nightgown. Hey, boy, I'll smash your face. So that was my dad. I got, I got, I got lucky with my dad. This girl got stuck with the prick of the years. Her father. I can't even fathom what it must be like for her just to go to the store with this guy. Hey, honey, you ready to go? What is this? Hmm? How many times do I have to tell you we're not buying tampons at a Walgreens? Jesus Christ! Go put it back! I don't want the entire fucking neighborhood to know that my daughter is having her goddamn period! Go put it back! Christ! Walgreens for buying medicine and for buying candy! My God! Teenagers!